Hello everyone. Uh, today our topic of uh, discussion is burn down chart. So in Scrum, uh, for monitoring and controlling our daily activities, we need a burn down chart, like how much we are deviated from our daily target or we are within the limits. So here burn down chart help us. So let's see like how our current burn down chart would help us to do tracking in that particular area. You can see like this print is active from 18th of May and it would be ended on 31st May. So today is 23rd May, so it's around third day after the weekend. So let's see how burn-down chart look like. So Jira provides us three ways <clears throat> to check the burn-down chart. First way is story point. But as you experience when you are working with the team, in the first week, story point, burn down chart, not making any sense because if stories are a little bit big ones, so we are not watching any story get burned in the first week. We usually watch burn down in story point in the next week, second week, if our sprint is of two weeks, right? So the another kind is original time estimate. Oh, you can see like it is not showing any signal to us, like how it is going on. But we have filled these value, right? So this kind of issue we can solve. Just go to our backlog again. And click on the board setting. So what we want to uh, change on our board is we want to have a burn down chart based upon the original estimate. So on board setting, we have to move to estimations. <clears throat> Here. So instead of clicking on none, we just want to put remaining estimate and time span. After clicking on that, go back to reports. Click on burn down chart and we would check the burn down chart based upon the remaining time estimate. So this burn down chart is showing like on the day one, overall around 67 hours of work was planned and on daily basis, some work is get burned. So we are below that line. So we are within the limit or we are ahead of the schedule. So what this line signifies, this line tell us, like if you are above this line, above this line, this ideal line. So it means we are deviated from the schedule. If we are below this line, so we are ahead of the schedule. But as much near we are with this line, so we can say like we are on the track. Right, we are on that track. So let's see if I log more effort than where this remaining estimate goes. Let's go back to the sprint board and take any stories and log effort on the subtask. So let's see, like we have a peer review. Okay, so you can see like here we have estimate of four hours and suppose I have worked on this task now and I am logging these four hours. Let's move back to our chart again, burn down chart. You would see a sudden burn happen in my burn down chart. This chart is based upon our original estimate and how much effort we have spent on those estimates, it would show like that. So you can see like previously this chart was up to here and I logged four hours. So it is showing me like four or more burn. So we are, we are on the right track over here, right? So the third chart, we have visited two charts. One is story point, another one in the remaining time estimate. Fourth one is issue count. Actually, issue count is also work on the story points, like how many stories are there and if we close any particular story, then this show a burn down over here. So instead of working on the story point, it show on the count of the story. 
it it would helpful only in the case like if uh, most of the stories have the same story point but uh, if you want to track on daily basis the remaining time estimate is preferable because it provide you exact picture of that right hope you enjoy this video and thank you thank you everyone